Good morning. Good morning. It's great to be a Ram. Please rise and remain standing as Emmanuel High School JROTC present the colors. Thank you. Distinguished guests, I am Devin Hawks, the very proud principal here at Manuel, and I would like, okay. I would like to welcome you to, and some of you back to, Manuel High School, the heart of the South Side. This is a very special occasion. We do have a lot of things planned, but I want to remind everyone this is a school, so we do stay on schedule. Today's honoree is a pillar in the manual community, and to give a little background information, I welcome manual teacher Mr. Tom Seibert. Thank you, Mrs. Hawks. I-G-T-B-A-R, right? We are family. We are rambling. And I'd like to welcome everyone to family, friends, distinguished community people. As Mrs. Hawks said, my name is Mr. Seibert, as most know me around here, Coach Tom. I am truly humbled to be a part of today's events. I've been doing this myself for over 30 years. However, the person we honor today has that beat by almost a decade. That means that they have had thousands of classroom students, hundreds on their sports rosters. To put this into perspective, this person has seen a freshman go through four years of high school and then graduate 10 times over. Yeah. 40 years in the classroom, basketball games, homecomings, prom, and some art shows. This person has ignited a passion and empowered these thousands of students to be successful. How do I know that? Two, two quick stories. I had a student, uh, Samaj Owens, incredibly talented. I was, uh, I was encouraged by the powers that be <clears throat> to enter a student's work in the AXO competition sponsored by the NAACP. He had a mentor, he had to do a presentation, he had a judge, 
And Samash said to me, there was, this one, there was this one man there, and he asked me really, really tough questions. And I said, okay, I've got to meet this person, and I'll, I'll, I'm going to the presentation. And uh, Samaj, of course, not only was he encouraged by this mentor and judged by this person, and then I got to meet him, but then Samaj went on to the nationals for NAACP because of how incredible his work was. And all of that because of that, that man. I, mean, I had to meet him. Another former student, I was doing the Middle School Fine Arts Festival. This was a 2004 grad, Martel Adams. Uh, he was there. As, a, uh, as one of the presenters, we got talking, told him I was at Manual, what room I was in. He immediately asked, is that mural on the back wall still? I said, yes, the mural's there, all the animals, it's fantastic. <laughs> and so Martel said, yes, yes, our teacher encouraged us to do that. Martel came back for the day and he touched, you'll, you'll appreciate this, sir. He touched everybody else's. <laughs> He touched everybody else's piece but his, of course, to make them look better. And so now, with Ramily Love, we honor this family man, this educator, this mentor, this coach, artist, and community leader with the grand distinction of an award in his name, now and forever, and it will be known as the Larry Hendricks Visual Art Award. Yeah, you can stop working now. You can stop working now, sir. This is going to be given to the outstanding visual arts student, the senior. We have the Rammies, there's Grammys, there's Tonys, Oscars. Now this will be known as the Larry. Congratulations, Mr. Hendricks. Thank you. We want you to sit down. Can we actually have you? I think so he can be right in front of you. At this time, I'll introduce Mr. Glover, who will take us further into the ceremony. Good morning, everyone. My name's Donald Glover, and I'll be your MC. And I'm loving all this because really we had something like a photo shoot for Mayor Ali, and he was on it. <laughs> but at this time, I'd like to introduce Mayor Ali. Thank you, Mr. Glover. Iktabar, yes. it's great to be a Ram. What a beautiful day to celebrate a great man. The sun came out for you, Mr. Hendricks, today. About 70 degrees coming your way. I'd like to read a mayoral proclamation, Office of the Mayor, City of Peoria proclamation. Whereas today, we are honoring retired art instructor and athletic coach, Mr. Lawrence Anthony Hendricks, Jr. And whereas Mr. Hendricks taught at Manuel High School from 1970 to 2004, 
He served as the first boys soccer head coach, head coach for both girls basketball and girls track and field, and head coach for boys track and field. He also was the art department's lead teacher, department head, the founder of Manuel's Afro Club, <laughs> the advisor of the art club, and many deem, him, many deem him the godfather of Peoria's talent show. And whereas he earned many accolades, including the Illinois Basketball Coach Coaches Association Coach of the Year for Girls Basketball South. He was instrumental in promoting Manuel's position as a local power in girls basketball and developed several players who earned honors from all conference to all American. And whereas in addition to inspiring his students with art, he and Judy, his wife of 59 years, <laughs> instilled this passion in sons, Anthony and Damon. Anthony, the youngest, was a fixture in Peoria's theater and music communities from 1985 until 2020. He lives in Iowa City, where he is a social worker and aspiring therapist. Damon is an art teacher for kindergarten through grade four and is also a prominent artist having had a studio for 20 years. And whereas Mr. Hendricks' interests extended beyond the arts, through the 80s he led the Peoria Ramblers summer track and field team. He took Peoria area athletes throughout Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, and Nebraska, among other places. He also hosted the annual Manual High School Girls Basketball Christmas Holiday Tournament. And whereas he continues to maintain a busy schedule as a mentor and local photographer and has been a resident artist at the Contemporary Art Center for nearly 15 years. Whereas the Manual Alumni Student Recognition Association and community volunteers and the city of Peoria have designated the intersection of Lincoln and Griswold as Larry Hendricks Jr. <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> this location runs behind the this location runs behind the room where Mr. Hendricks molded young artists who made the world a more interesting place. My art teacher for four years, my friend for a lifetime. Now therefore I, Rita Ali, Mayor of the City of Peoria, Illinois, do hereby celebrate Lawrence Anthony Hendricks Jr. in Peoria, Illinois. This 26th day of February 2024. Congratulations, Mr. Hendricks. At this time, I'd like to call to the stage Reverend Marlon Young. Thank you. 
I thought I would be like last or something since my name is Young. We go in alphabetical order. Well, Don called me a few weeks ago and um, he mentioned to me uh, this going on, if I could put it that way, and uh, knowing that I am one who wholeheartedly uh, believes in Mr. Hendricks, uh, that I truly love you. Um, you've been not only a mentor, but you represented a father figure to so many people. I don't think your kids have any idea that you practice on a lot of us. <laughs> and so if you weren't good to them, it's because uh, we messed you up so badly that you struggled with that thought. But I won't be long. As a matter of fact, uh, when Don called me, and I want to uh, make sure that I acknowledge all of you in here who are esteemed, that whether you be at Manual High School, uh, alumni, or Central, uh, or Richwood. <laughs> I want to acknowledge all of you, and because Don only gave me like an hour to share with y'all. I'm a preacher now, so you know it's going to be hard for me to sit down. But when he mentioned it to me, I immediately went to my favorite place of, of, of thinking, and I, I wrote a few notes down, you all. And one of the things that I, I wanted to, uh, to mention is that, and I'm sure that uh, Mr. Hendricks, you will hear this over and over again as far as the talent show is concerned, is that what you did with the talent show wasn't just a manual thing. And a lot of people just say manual high school, but there were people from Central, ugh, Richwoods, Woodruff. There were kids from all over who you look past their inability to maybe not be able to sing as well or dance as well. <laughs> But you made sure that you included them somehow, even if it meant that they limped across the stage in a messed up outfit. But still, we all cheered because it was an event that mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers could come out and pack this place. I'm a firm believer that that's part of the, uh, society's problem is we don't have those interactive events where we can come together and forget South Side, North Side, East Side. We can just be black people who enjoy doing great things. I remember when I approached you, and you all, you gotta understand the depth of this, is that I tried drawing one time and he couldn't even make out my stick man. So I didn't have that gift. But I spent a lot of time in his room because he would allow you to come in. He just wanted you to feel good about being your best you. And I went to him because there was another teacher who said to me, okay, now you're the president of the Afro-American club, so you can't be president of the school. You can't be president of the student body. And Mr. Hendricks pulled me to the side and said, why not? Why not? You can do whatever you want to do. And that was encouraging to, to me, Mr. Hendricks, because again, my dad wasn't an active person. And so to hear a black man speak positive that I could do all things, that was, I mean, I can't even measure that. That was amazing. That was amazing. And then I'll just, I'll complete it right here, Mr. Hendricks, by sharing that as I, as I thought about uh, in the Bible, we will always have references to a gatekeeper. And that person uh, had the responsibility of often making sure that junk didn't come in the city. Junk stayed on the outside. But when I think about you, I think of you as a gatekeeper who looked past the faults of people on the inside to make sure that they could understand that there was something good on the inside. And instead of excluding people, your focus was to make sure that as many as possible could be involved. And for that, I give praise to Mr. Hendricks, uh, a father, uh, a mentor, a coach, just an all-out good man. And I'll close by saying this, Mrs. Hendricks, behind every good man is a better woman. Thank you, Reverend Young. At this time, I'd like to call to the stage 
Ms. Tanya Adams. So you can tell my age, the glasses are coming off now to read. Hey, Larry. <laughs> my name is Tanya Adams, and I'm the Senior Vice President of WSP. But most importantly, born and raised here on the south side of Peoria, and a proud graduate of Manuel High, class of 1982. Woohoo! There's only three of us here, so. My admiration for you, Mr. Hendricks. You know I'm going to slip back into Larry in a second because uh, I hold an AARP card, which means I can officially call you Larry. <laughs> Goes beyond a teacher and a student. In fact, we realized I never took an art class. Never ran track, didn't do basketball, came to the talent show. But I was drawn into your classroom, one full of color, laughter, wisdom, knowledge sharing, and people. You brought so much beauty to history, black history, into my life. Ever since those first days hanging out in your classroom that faced Lincoln Street, you have mentored me for over 45 years. Thank you. See, before I met you, I only had an experience of interacting with one black educator in second grade. So imagine how exciting it was to be in proximity to the coolest art teacher, enthusiastic, and a welcoming black male. I know I was one of countless students, but you made me feel important, like I could do anything. From the moment you became the beacon and my light, my truth teller, my historian, my mentor, my confidant, my cheerleader, my sounding board, and the list goes on. See, Mr. Hendricks, you showed us the beauty in all of us as who we are as people and who you are as a black man, an artist, and one of the leaders of the Afro-American Club you truly had patience for all of us. So the Adams family, <laughs> you've been there for us. You've captured every milestone in our lives as our personal family photographer. And we treasure the memories from baby showers, coming home parties, family portraits, my father's 100th birthday celebration, and helping me memorialize my brother's passing. Thank you. Well, I could go on and on and tell stories of your greatness, but I'm going to he end here simply by saying I'm very honored for the opportunity to share my high regards as you honor and contribute to our history. I'm thrilled to call you not only Larry Hendricks, teacher, artist, but Larry, my mentor, and my brother. Thank you, Ms. Adams. Now, before I continue, I got to tell a story of myself. Uh, I started at Christ Lutheran School. It's been many years ago. I'm not going to say how many. But when we arrived, my parents had enrolled us in the school. When I arrived, I, we were like the only black family at the time. I don't know if we were the first one, but we were the only one at the time. Shortly after that, the Hendricks family and the Fosses showed up, and then the boots. And before you knew it, Christ Lutheran had a basketball team that went 62-1 and one in two years. 
And I got to tell you this because I had the opportunity years later to choose my career. And I'm like, I know I want to be a teacher. The reason why I wanted to be a teacher is I had three wonderful men in this building who they didn't, they weren't demonstrative about anything. They just talked by doing. And Mr. Hendricks, I remember we were at a timeout at Christ Lutheran. And I was number four, I was 4'11", 98 pounds when I started high school too. But at the time I was at Christ Lutheran. And my dad had been talking to me as one of the basketball players on the team about sharing the ball. And believe it or not, back then I managed to score over 30 points a couple of times in games. And Mr. Hendricks, uh, during the timeout, he came over to me, he said, Donald, I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> because I was listening to my dad about being unselfish. And I did want to do that, and I was distributing the ball, and we weren't doing that well at the time. He said, I know what you're trying to do, but start shooting. <laughs> And I felt better because my dad was on that same bench as a coach. And that was one of the first times I felt like, oh, I have someone in my corner here. And when I was teaching here, I went to his room to ask for a pointer about art. And he told me what to do because I draw a little bit. And he f gave me the heads up about how things work at manual. And I just thought about it and over the years, I thought about all the things he's done for me. He's a track coach. He's a basketball coach. He was a guy who gave me art tips. And I didn't get to encounter him that often. But when I was thinking about this event, I thought of him as a jack of all trades and a master of one. You're a jack of all trades and a master of one. And in my, among my mentors, I have 104 years service in three men. Dennis Winkler, George Graves Jr., thanks for coming out, Mr. Graves, and Mr. Larry Hendricks. <laughs> you taught me so much, and I really appreciate it. So at this time, I'm going to call to the microphone a group of ladies who did what I really loved. I ran for you with Ramblers, and we were all over the place and PCCEO Head Start buses. Your car, your Volvo is brown. We drove all over. Yes, that's right. So at this time, I'd like to call to the stage a group of young ladies. I'm gonna call them young ladies, that's how I remember them. Ms. Mack, Ms. Brown Wright, Ms. Williams, and Ms. Brown. And Miss Gaston, I'm sorry. And Miss. one um, track member, um, Teresa Brown, she was um, ill this morning, um, but she did want to be here. I, s I spoke to her actually on Saturday, and um, she was very excited to be here, but she got sick over the rest of the weekend. So, good morning, everyone. My name is Emma Wright Brown, and I am Manual Alumni Class of 1988. I would like to say I am so grateful to be here today, and it is wonderful to take part of this occasion, um, and I just want to share a few words to Mr. Hendricks. There are only a few times in life where you have a standout teacher and mentor that you remember for the rest of your life. Um, first time that happened was when I became a Girl Scout. It was an all-black Girl Scout troop in Peoria, Illinois. God connected us with, and those are people forever in my heart. Now, the second time this time I came across an outstanding, unforgettable mentor was when 
I decided to join the Lady Running Rams track and field program. Yeah. That's where I met Mr. Hendricks. Um, he greeted me with a smile. He told me where to be. I showed up and I ran my heart out for four years till I graduated. Um, he's just been a wonderful teacher. He taught um, us, you know, just to practice and plan for the win. Um, he taught us the right timing pass the baton at the right time to the right runner, to the right team. That's a great formula for success. So as a result of that, um, how I move and at work with teamwork and sportsmanship, that's, that's been an impact on my life that way. That's, I, it all comes together from that. So on behalf of myself and my other peer groups, everyone that knows you, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. <laughs> oh, I gotta bring it down. Okay, um, y'all bear with me because I'm scared to speak in front of folks. I don't, can y'all see me? <laughs> Let me come over here. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, and thank you for having us. I am truly honored to be standing here today. Um, I do want to give thanks first unto the Lord um, and second to our wonderful track coach, Mr. Hendricks. <laughs> um, and I am going to be reading because I don't have nothing memorized. I remember Mr. Hendricks stopping me in the hallway my sophomore year, asking me to join his track team. I was super scared because I was a newbie, but once I came and joined, I got comfortable with the girls and we went on to do our thing. Mr. Hendricks made sure his girls were right. We matched with the baddest track outfits, wearing our signature <laughs> leggings, the black, the orange, the white. Yeah. <laughs> and don't let me get started on the shoes because he made sure our shoes was right to us. Um, Mr. Hendricks, um, Hold on, I even got stuck. Mr. Hendricks not only made sure we were looking right, but also <laughs> that we got the proper training, and that we definitely did. Coach, we thank you for being the best, and I do mean the best coach anyone could have. Um, good morning. My name is DeAndra Williams, and I'm a class of 1988. Um, I think I was one of the youngest people to be on Mr. Hendricks track team between us, because I was 13, all the way up until my senior year, and I also ran summer track all those years. Um, one thing I want to say before I say anything off of this paper is, Mr. Hendricks, I love you. You literally was like that father figure I never had in my life all through my years in high school. When I was feeling down, I would just like go to Mr. Hendricks' room, get a pass out of class, and act like I was a person in his art class. I never knew, and I never knew how to draw. Nothing, not even a stick figure. But that was one of the enjoyments of being at Manuel was Mr. Hendricks, for real. I was in a talent show on the Afro Club, just everything. And it was like, I don't want to step on nobody toes, Germani and Damon, but Mr. Hendricks was my dad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Miss, Mrs. Hendricks, I'm your daughter. <laughs> that daughter you probably never knew, but I'm your daughter. Okay. Yeah. Coach Hendricks, thank you for your undeniable support and guidance as a coach, mentor, teacher to many. Your passion and dedication has a lasting impact on so many. Just take a look around the room. You always show you cared about anyone who had the pleasure to be in your presence. You will always have a special place in my heart. You always showed you cared about anyone with that, that anyone that was in your presence, 
it was just undeniable. He was one of the best teachers, best coaches I ever had in my life. And I will always love Mr. Hendricks. You would never leave this mine. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My name is Cara, and Cara Mack, and I also was an um, alumni uh, class of 88. And I just want to say I, it is my extreme pleasure and honor to be here today and to participate in this awesome acknowledgement of greatness because no matter what, here are your flowers. So forever and ever, you will be acknowledged. People are gonna wonder when they see that street sign, who is Larry Hendricks? We will be the ones to tell it. We can tell the story and we can tell that story to our grandkids and you're gonna live on forever, forever and ever. <laughs> So, with that being said, I would also like to share some thoughts. So, you talk about a mentor. A lot of young kids, they don't have nobody checking for them. They may have siblings, parents, just trying to, you know, do what they have to do to survive, but Mr. Hendricks was checking for us. And he would come. We would just hang out at the house. I know Judy probably was like, <laughs> when y'all gonna go home? <laughs> no, I'm just joking, but we used to hang out at the house, watch TV. He would pick us up. He would pick us up and, you know, do summer track, the Ramblers. He was dedicated and passionate about his gifts. And through those gifts, he has turned out a lot of awesome people that he just pushed, right? Because sometimes you don't know you can do something unless somebody pushes you and they believe in you. So I was not the quickest like sprinter. Not, I wasn't even like a long distance person. I was kind of like in between there. So did some 200s, then he, I don't think he knew what to do with me, to be honest. <laughs> so he put me in the relays. Um, then after that, he had me anchor the medley. So there's a story behind the medley because it's the medley is a relay and I anchored the relay, but these young ladies here, they helped me bring it home. Yes, <laughs> so with all that preparing for the track and the, you know, the practices, he helped us get ready so we have to get ready. Um, then he got crazy. put me in the mile relay to anchor that. So if you know what it's like to run a whole lap around the track, you'll get um, Charlie horses. I guess so. So with that being said, I think my time might be up. But <laughs> so we have right now 1987. We have a relay that has never been broken. The medley has never been broken. 1988, we broke the mile relay. Never been broken to this day. So he turned out some bad chicks up here. Thank you, Mr. Hendricks. I love you.
just a quick announcement. Uh, I'm going to call the Hendricks family, Mr. and Mrs. Hendricks and Damon and Jamani. And after we finish here, we're going to be going outside for the unveiling. So everyone, I want you to, you can use the front doors, but if you have a walk or anything, there's a ramp right here. And I'm telling you that because we had an incident last time we we're here, but you can do a ramp right alongside and you can make it out and we'll be going to the corner of Lincoln and Griswold, okay? So at this time, I'd like to call Mr. Hendricks, Jamani, Damon, and Mrs. Hendricks. said uh, I need to do it quick and Damon said he didn't have much to say but I do so um, <laughs> let me go ahead and knock this out real quick so today we gather not just to name a street but to honor a legacy a legacy embodied by my father a remarkable man whose life has been a testament to humility integrity and profound impact for over 40 years, he has been more than a high school art teacher, as many of you have already stated. He's been a beacon of hope, inspiration, and guidance for generations of students, especially within the African-American community. Yeah. Yeah. My father's approach has never been about seeking the spotlight. Instead, he has dedicated his life to making a difference quietly, to touching lives without fanfare or expectation of recognition. His contributions span from coaching summer track Soccer, which hasn't been mentioned too much, but that was a big deal for a while. Um, bas the basketball teams, nurturing creative spirits of his art students. <clears throat> he orchestrated the infamous manual talent shows, which, as has already been stated as well, reached far beyond just manual, but all over Peoria. Each act a testament of his commitment to showcasing the brilliance and talent of young minds. But his influence extends beyond the classroom and the sports field. As a husband, father, son, and uncle, he has been the epitome of love, support, and strength. His photogenic eye has not only captured but also enriched our lives with memories that bind us together, encapsulating moments with a beauty that speaks to the depth of his understanding and compassion. My sons are down in North Carolina, and to all who have had the privilege to know him, they, you all know that he is more than a grandfather and or a mentor. He's a guiding light, a source of everlasting warmth and wisdom. His life is a masterclass in making a difference without expecting a return, in impacting lives without needing the validation of the world. And so we stand here today to name a street in his honor. Let us remember that it's not just a celebration of my father's contributions, but a recognition of the silent heroes among us Heroes like him who teach us that true greatness lies in humility, that real change comes from quiet dedication, and that the most enduring legacies are built on the foundation of genuine selfless love. Dad, it is an honor to call you father. And today as your youngest, <laughs> youngest son, I stand here filled with pride, gratitude, and immense love. And the street will forever be a symbol of your indelible impact and a reminder to us all the power of one life lived with purpose, passion, and an unyielding commitment to uplifting others. And yes, I am my mother's child. Thank you. Good morning, good morning. I am Damon Hendricks, class of 89, Manu High School. Um, a lot of people figure that we get, I have nothing prepared because everyone that came before me said it all. The only thing that I would like to say is that I wanted to be so much like him. And that's a tribute to who he is as a man. 
and to get, be able to give him his flowers now because he wasn't in the best position last year or the year before. For him to be here and standing here to be able to receive the love that you all are given, we try to keep this a secret. And the reason why this auditorium is not packed is, be is because Don and I were like, how do we get this out without getting it out? But now that it's out, there's going to be, what I'm going to be doing is going to be doing a video uh, collage of any and everyone who wants to celebrate him while he's here. And so he knows the love that he and the people that he has touched. Uh, of those people that he has touched, obviously, uh, me and Jamani, we've reaped a lot of that and we reaped the good and the bad, uh, but more good than bad because we were able to become uh, very uh, it's hard to explain. The biggest thing I want to say is that I think that he wanted to leave a legacy. And by leaving a legacy, we have a, my mom gets tired of it um, because it's nothing but men in the family. So we have my boys here behind me. I told them to come up. Come up. <laughs> so this is Damon Jr. And this is Jordan. And they all have their own companies. And a lot of what they have as far as the inspiration was through myself and through my father. And by doing that and by making them into young men who are outstanding young men, I think that comes from the top. And because he has been that for me, and I've seen it, how he's been that for others. And it wasn't something that I wanted uh, to always share, but it was something that we did for the neighborhood, our community, and everything that he has done and touched and the people that he's touched made me a better person to do the same thing is the reason why I'm in Chicago doing the same thing. So with that being said, um, do you guys have anything you want to say real quick? Real quick. Uh, not the best at speaking, but I got to say, Grandpa, thank you for everything. You touched the family, everybody here. Um, I'm on the spot. I don't know. I'm really bad at this, but I will say uh, without you, I wouldn't have picked up the camera. I wouldn't have started filming. I wouldn't have done photography. I wouldn't have did magic tricks when I was doing magic shows for people. I wouldn't have done half of what I've done without you. So. In a short span, thank you. I love you. Love the whole family. And appreciate everybody for popping out today, too. So thank you. <laughs> I'm kind of on the spot as well. But uh, Grandpa, you know, we spent a lot of summers over at your guys' house. And, you know, those were some of the best moments of our lives growing up. Just being around you, getting to play in the leaves when we were kids. Uh, you let me use your computer all the time to get good at making music and stuff like that. Um, and it's really amazing to see how many people you impact. I've always known and seen this since I was a child, but over the years I just see the audience and the people that you impacted has grown to be so much. And I hope one day to be as impactful as you. So, like everybody else, I love you, Grandpa. And, yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, we managed to really carry this off without a glitch. He is just rushing this morning because, of course, Devin had called him a, a, a week or a couple weeks ago and said, I want you to do the uh, photography and, of course, a photo shoot. That's all he needed to hear, he, there, that she wanted him to do a photo shoot at Manual for Black History Celebration. So that's what he thought for the last few weeks. And as we were gathering, as we were getting ready, he was wondering, well, why is Damon here? And why is Rain here? 
and everybody wants to go. I said, well, everybody just wants to go to the Black History Celebration. Hey, this is, this, is, this is what we do. And so I am just so grateful for each of you, those of you who knew. We did have to keep it on the down low. And so instead of putting it out on Facebook and Messenger and all of those places, we tried to just send out little, little bits of notifications here and there. But I thank you so very much. Thank you, Rita our precious, I mean, for, for, for Larry and I, she is a precious daughter because I had the wonderful opportunity for about four or five years to be her supervisor, Department of Human Services. And she, I mean, she was amazing then, excelling in everything that she did and is still excelling. And anytime that I call on her, she's right there. So thank you, Maya Rita Ali. He was talking about, he said, you remember when Rita was the, uh, she was the MC at 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 uh, talent show. I think she was the MC for about three or four years. I'm telling you, and so she was getting her practice in then <laughs> as MC for the talent show. But I thank you so very much for honoring this man who I love and I've loved for not just 59 years. We met at Western Illinois University as students. He, uh, in, in his efforts to try to impress me, he was running a hurdle, and during the course of running that hurdle, he pulled the muscle, but he was styling, he was styling for me. And he has continued over the years, he has been not just my husband, my lover, my friend. I love you. Thank you so much. I uh, thank you, son. Uh, I appreciate everybody and everything that you've done. Uh, as, as you know, a lot of years spent here at Manual High School on the stage, in the hallways. Uh, I don't think people realize. My son reminded me the history, some of the history of Manual High School, especially the track teams. You got to realize, I don't know if they still do it or not, but we didn't have a track. Uh, but we had premier track teams, boys and girls. We ran these hallways. <laughs> This hallway out here was a sprint hallway. There was a hurdle hallway by the trophy hallway. We passed, we did handoffs by the cafeteria. We ran the whole loop all the way around, five times around, equal to, equal to mile. And then we went outside and just dominated. The pride of manual was not only on the track field, it was in the hallways. Yes. We had a clean, organized group of people, from the custodians to the staff. I'm sure it's probably still under Devin's leadership. It's still positive. And, you know, the floors are always immaculate. The bathrooms are just phenomenal. But we were. Manual was the pride of everything in the city on the south end. Little, little known secret. So, you know, unique in that way. Uh, but take a look around when you get a chance in this perspective. We would have 20, over 20 plus years of talent show. We turned away a busload of people from Bloomington. They couldn't come in because the fire marshal said, we're too packed. We had people standing along the sides, every seat taken, and 
it was just phenomenal to see. And we did that year after year after year. But to get back to what happened today, <laughs> I had no idea at all. And when Devin called me, I said, well, it's here. I'll come take pictures of the Black History. I'll be here for, she said, we'll be here for, uh, from 1030 until 1 o'clock. I said, oh, that's a long dedication. <laughs> and, so, and so I said, well, I got to make sure to be on time, because being, being on time makes you late. So I was, I was rushing everybody. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. And uh, I got here, and I said, Hmm, that's an interesting display, but I he said, rush on in. <laughs> and so when I got inside and I saw the best relay team I've had in all those years. <laughs> We've had a lot of great relays. We've gone to state, we've won state in, in high jump and shot put. And, uh, we, you know, a lot of accolades. Our, our state meet was the uh, General Star Honor Roll meet. You know, we could care less about Charleston, but we wanted to make sure we performed in front of the community. But uh, when I saw them, I said, wow, that's interesting, you know. <laughs> and I was rushing around trying to make sure I got these cameras ready because I prepped them last night, making sure they were all ready to go. And, uh, and so we were all going to have just a great time shooting. And I started shooting. In fact, I got about four or five shots. Yeah. It, until, until somebody told me uh, from the microphone here that uh, a mural in the back of the room, I said, what? <laughs> but to look around and see all these familiar faces, you know, I look, I look down and see Stan, and, and Stan is still with the program here, and is a very important part of the program. And, and I, I see uh, Kevin Armstrong and, and uh, all, the, all the men's track team programs that, that were, you know, Al, Alexander. And I'm talking, I can't see everybody right now because I'm, I'm in a daze. <laughs> you, you guys got me really good, I'm telling you. I have no idea, I had no idea what was going on. I saw Damon come down. I thought, I've had some health challenges in the last few weeks and, uh, trying to get myself back together again. Uh, and I, I, he said he'd come down to uh, just check on me. Just check on me. I said, OK, nice to, to usually work to do that. But, <laughs> but I don't think that's, that's a good thing to do. <laughs> and, uh, and so I was appreciative of everybody. And I was here to, and Devin says, I want you to take pictures of Rita Ali. You know, she's, She's going to be right here, and uh, and I, I said I got to make sure my camera's ready for that. <laughs> and then here you are, my former student Rita, and uh, uh, Rita was so uh, outstanding when she was here, in so many ways. She was a leader in the in the community, a leader in the school, and uh, really appreciate you so much. But Devin, how you got me is amazing. And, and I appreciate all the positive things that were said to, uh, about me. Uh, I didn't plan to do anything to try to make, uh, push my, my beliefs up. I just know that uh, I just love students at Manual High School and I appreciate you guys so much. So. I think I'm done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would be remiss if I did not say, Donald, thank you so much for everything that you did to make this happen. Our family greatly appreciates it and uh, appreciate it. It was an honor to be able to do this for Mr. Hendricks. I just want to say this, uh, we're ending Black History Month and the NAACP decided this month would be a month that would promote
the arts, visual and performing arts. And with that said, tomorrow night is going to be a talent show. Let's call it that. I'm going to call it that here at Manual for Black History Month. And I invite you all to come out and support the Rams and see the talent we still have at the school, along with talent from the past. So that will start at 6 p.m. tomorrow night, and our honoree will be here. So tell those who couldn't make it then to come out tomorrow night and honor Mr. Hendricks. Everyone, if you'll go ahead and exit the doors to my right, we'll meet you at the corner of, of Griswold and Lincoln. Well, I'm the pit first. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I had no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate everybody. Ready? Ready? Ready. Wait, go down. Two, three. Uh -oh. <laughs> he, he might need some of them younger boys to help him. Come on, Damon. There we go. Come on, grandchildren. <laughs> on the pole. Help him out, sons. Nope. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've been known to break things. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Woo! Yes. yes. Oh, look at the artwork. <laughs> oh, that is wow. Yes. Look at that. Wow. 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 I act like I'm looking at it. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't see it. You act like I'm looking at it. You can't see it with the You can come on this side. side. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You gotta let the sun block it. You can come right here. Oh, about that way. You can stand on it. Oh, yeah. Watch. I'm gonna look hard. I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna stand right here. Put the lights back there, sun's back there, so you can get some pictures up to the top. Lorraine? Yes, sir. Yeah, the record. Yes, sir. 40-some years. 40-some years, my record still stands. <laughs> That's true. Right. Mile run. Thank you, everybody.